check this out on my screen. Four fingers flat down, not nails. Uh, ladies with nails, flat fingers, and it's got to be on the actual viewing area. Check this out. I can just swing it back. So when you're in an app and you know, let's say I've, I've got a calculator open in math class, I could be swinging back and forth and I could do this repetitively, right? Before this, I was in good notes. I was looking at house plans. Before that, I was in, I think my daughter was in an app. No, nope, I was sketch noting. I was making, I was at a conference and I was uh, doing sketch notes, trying to uh, just kind of jot down some of my thoughts. Uh, I swing back over and I was in Doceri making a video, a math video, right? So I can do this by using four fingers from side to side on the screen to go back and forth without hitting that home button. So double tap will do it or that four finger slide will do it as well. Also while we're talking about hand gestures, if you take your hand on the screen and close your hand, it will close the app for you. So instead of going and finding the button, you just close your hand on the screen and now it's gone. Now, one thing I'll note while we're on the home screen, what happens when I do four fingers on the home screen? It just scrolls, it just scrolls around. So you have to be in an app in order to use that hand gesture. However, the double tap will bring up. Notice as well, if I'm on this home screen, check it out, four fingers up will do the double tap option for you. So instead of double tap, you could just go four fingers up on the screen and it will bring in all those options. And that can be done from the home screen as well.